Hello Potato and welcome to another week of LEGO. Now in preparation for today's video I was thinking what LEGO minifigure do I have the most of? And I don't necessarily mean the most of the exact same figure because that would be kind of weird if I had like 20 of you know Luke Skywalker from one specific set. I mean representations of the same character. And you know I have a fair number of Lukes and Hans and Darth Vaders I have at least a half a dozen Santa Clauses in different variations. I've got a few Ghostbusters. I've got a number of Supermans, three or four Spider-Mans. But I think about it, and the character I probably have the most of is na 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 Batman. I realize I, I don't. I'm not a big Batman collector. I don't like have any of the big like. Batcave kind of sets or anything like that. Indeed, to this point, this is the only Batmobile I've ever built. And this is, of course, from Kit 76119 Batmobile Pursuit of the Joker, based on the original Tim Burton Batman movie, which is, you know, kind of my Batman. It came with actually that Joker right there. And it came out, I didn't realize it came out in 2019. I thought it was newer than that. I thought it was like 2020, 21 at least. Uh, I didn't realize I've had this kit for so long because I know I did a video on it. And uh, yeah, it's been a while. I got it to put into my modular city village, which is what I am have set up now for the new year. And I have a, a extra space for it. Got to build new kits to go into it. And yeah, I mean, this to me, this was my Batmobile. Not, not the Tumblr, not the Robert Pattinson one, which I, you know, don't have. It's actually still available. There's like three or four Batmobiles currently available, which I guess talks about why I have so many Batman figures. I mean, they just, they make a lot of Batman sets, so they make sets with Batman in them. I have, aside from this, uh, like, Tim Burton-esque Batman, I've got Batmans, I think, that just came in, like, a DC set that I picked up back when they first started doing the superhero things. I'm pretty sure I have at least one Batman out of the DC collectible minifigure set that came out, I think, around 2019, 2020 as well. I never got that full set, unfortunately, but I'm pretty sure I had a Batman out of that one. I'm sure I have at least one Batman from like Batman vs. Superman. I definitely have Batman from Lego Movie. I have Batman from Lego Batman Movie. I have Batmans from the Lego Dimensions game because there was at least two of those in that because there was the one that came with it and then there was one of him in like medieval armor. I have a lot of Batmans. The only character I think that probably comes close and I don't think exceeds or surpasses, surpasses is the word I actually wanted there is probably Emmett from the Lego movies, because Emmett did like come in like literally every Lego movie set came with an Emmett. I, I probably do have like 20 Emmets. Uh, but that's that's it. I mean, I don't, because I never, I never really did a lot of the Lego IPs. I don't do Monkey Kid. I do have a couple Dreams z -z -z sets. I did buy some in, not inside, Hidden Side. But I never did like Nexo Knights or Rock Raiders or Ninjago or Chima. Although I do have Ninjago and Chima because they had sets for those for LEGO Dimensions. But yeah, if, if anybody comes close to Batman, it's probably Emmett. But I think Batman is the one that I have the most of. And again, it's weird because I'm not a huge Batman fan. I've got very few Batman sets. He just comes in other things. But I picked this one back up, I guess, in 2019. I thought it was later than that. But I guess in 2019 I picked this one up because I wanted a Batmobile because I did have Batman in the display. I wanted a Batmobile to go with it, and uh, the, the again, the Tim Burton late 80s Batman is kind of my Batman. I mean, you know, for a lot of people, it is the uh, Adam West Batman, who's a great Batman for what he was. But, it's, you know, even though I'm sure I saw that before I ever saw Michael Keaton's Batman, uh, this one was kind of my Batman. I guess also because it kind of was more similar to the animated series, because it had, had a lot of the same tonal notes that the Tim Burton movies had. But about this to put into the city, of course, it came with the Joker, because that's the reason I didn't buy the last version of the 60s Batman Batmobiles, because it came with Joker and not Robin. And, uh, you know, I'm not a not a scholar of the 60s Batman series, but I'm pretty sure it was the it was uh, Robin that rode in the Batmobile with Batman, not the Joker. You made a two-seated vehicle and then didn't put Robin in it. You could at least have thrown in a third figure or something, charged an extra dollar for the kit, I don't know. But that's why I didn't buy that one. It didn't come with Robin. If it came with Robin, I probably would have bought it. I wouldn't have put it in the city because I wanted uh, the more modern version in there. But I probably would have bought it. Anyways, I mean, it's a nice, it was a fun build. It's got this nice little little flame here at the end that spins when you roll it. It's got a couple little pop-out blasters. 
Now in the movie, I believe the uh, the the top moves forward. It doesn't. It does lift up though to reveal the Batman inside, who is a I think a fairly unique Batman compared to my other Batmans. And yeah, his cape's all curled up around his head because it doesn't really fit in there very well. But you can't see that when it's closed. Now, one funny thing about this, and I didn't realize it at the time, you know, when I built it, is, um, of course, I mean, it's obviously, it's a very long vehicle. The turning radius on this car must be just atrocious. But when I put it in the city, it became clear that it's actually bigger than the city bus. If you put them side by side, I don't know how well it'll show up on camera, but if we like line the back bumpers up, so I'm excluding the back, I'm excluding the flame, just trying to line the back up. The Batmobile is just the tiniest bit longer, just like a half an inch longer than an entire city bus. A car with one seat capacity is more than an entire bus. And we all know what the turning radius on a bus is, so uh, it's, or at least, I, Anybody who's lived in a city with buses knows what the turning radius of a bus is. So that's uh, that's really saying something about the size of this vehicle. But for for you know for when it came out, it's a very nicely detailed set. It has been in the village ever since, every spring to summer ever since. Indeed, actually in 2020 it would have sat out all the way up until Halloween time because I didn't do the well 2020 and 2021 it would have sat out until Halloween time because I didn't do the carnival either of those years. Oh, I didn't do it in 22 either, did I? Because last year was the first year I did it. So this has spent a lot of time actually on display. But then, uh, given that I thought that this was newer than it was, I was surprised last year when they announced they were releasing essentially an updated version of it in kit 76224. Yes, that's, we've gone like, like five or six minutes into the video and I'm finally getting to the point of the video. 76224 Batmobile Batman versus the Joker Chase not to be confused with Batmobile Pursuit of the Joker. And again, this comes, I feel like this one comes with a, a much more Jack Nicholson looking Joker. I feel like the other one didn't really capture the Nicholson of it all. I feel like this one captures it a lot better. We'll see a better one, but I think the printing on the front of his shirt there. Yeah, I think that looks much more like Nicholson's outfit. Again, looks like we're going to have the rotating flame, because I mean, that's, that was in the movie. It was prominently shown in the movie. We're going to have some pop-up guns this time. Instead of ones just pop out the side, they're actually going to blow off uh, covers here, which should be great for losing pieces. And this gets a little bit bigger than the classic one sitting in front of it. Not that five years ago is exactly classic. So this kit was, according to the LEGO Builder app, 342 pieces. The new one's 438. And I think part of that is because we're getting rid of these, these bat wings back here, or these like Kestrel wings. I think I've actually seen these, uh, I think these are actually the same wings that are on my Kestrel in my Halloween village. Yeah, we're getting rid of the Kestrel wings here and replacing it with more brick built. Looks like we're going, I've seen more studs not on top, but it, it's really not that much difference. I mean, there's maybe gonna be a few less studs in the center here. And this part's gonna be a little bit more rounded. But I'm not sure as far as what the length is. I haven't seen one built yet. So I don't know what the length is gonna be on it. But it is going to be replacing this in the village. This will kind of unfortunately get retired and uh, just live out the rest of its days in the storage bin with other vehicles and bits from villages and displays that just don't get put up anymore. I don't really have a place just to put the Batmobile here. I don't know, maybe, maybe I can move it into Halloween, but I don't think so. I don't think I'm gonna have a lot of room really extra in Halloween either. So yeah, we're gonna be retiring this Batmobile and replacing it with this one. Here, let's just kind of park you back there. And we'll compare them at the end, of course. That's the whole point of bringing it in here is so that we can look at the two sets together at the end. I picked up towards the end of last year at the Lego store. They were doing, it was to get, possibly to get the, um, the holiday sets, the holiday promo kits that they were doing at the time. That's kind of what I'm doing now with Lego stores. I, I just kind of buy what I want Oh, good. We have stickers. Always fun. I buy what I want when uh, when they're doing a promo kit that I want. I figure if they're going to, especially if they're going to make the promo kits be, you know, kind of outrageously priced uh, buy-in points. The Lunar New Year Dragon wasn't bad. I think 85 isn't awful. But I do remember when they used to, you know, I'll be like the 40 and $50 levels and $100 would get you something really, really spectacular in the way of a promo kit, like a sailboat. And, uh, yeah, nowadays, uh, not so much. 
but that's fine. I mean, I, I'm running out of room for Lego anyways. So yes, we do have a sticker sheet here, very small one, thankfully, with looks like four stickers, two of them pretty small. We have our instruction booklet, how many steps we're we looking at here. Luca's oh, got a little bat storage to put his weapons, his little grapple gun, a, an air, a crossbow bolt for some reason, battering. 144 steps, so this shouldn't be, shouldn't be too hard of a build. It's only four bags, so that's pretty, pretty small. And we do have that thing they're doing nowadays, where they, or I guess not nowadays, they've been doing it for, for years, at least since 2018. Because I remember first noticing it in Steamboat Willie, where we have, like, have the colorful bits on the inside. Which that does make it easier to build. So yeah, that's all there is to say ahead of time when, actually, that's quite a bit said. So let's, uh, let's get into the fast forward, get it built, and then see how this stacks up to its five-year-old brother over here. Let's go to the fast forward.
There we go. Lego Kit 76224 Batmobile Batman vs. the Joker Chase is complete. And next to Batmobile Pursuit of the Joker 76119. So comparing the two, lengthwise, I'm going to say about the same. I mean, if you take the fins out of it, if you just go like the, from nose to flame, the older one's actually a little bit longer, but I do think on the city bus test, no, it is actually, again, leaving the flame in, it's longer, but without the flame, now it is a little bit, just a little bit nose to, yeah, it's a little bit longer than a Lego city bus. Now, screen accuracy. I'm going to say overall, I think this is actually more accurate to the original Tim Burton movie than our older version here, because while this, I think, the fins on the back of the original Tim Burton one were thin like this, and these are definitely considerably thicker, uh, the turbine is missing from this older one. I hadn't even realized that till putting this together, that, yeah, one of the uh, defining aspects of the the Tim Burton Batmobile was that big turbine on the front that is absolutely missing from the 2019 version. Also, I feel like I, I don't believe Tim Burton's Batman had his own logo on the wheels of his car. Not that the car doesn't stand out, but uh, yeah, I don't think it was quite like that. I also think the uh, movie version had bigger back wheels and front wheels, not fall for the same size, but we do still maintain the spinning flame out the back there. That maintains between the two of them. Uh, this one's a little bit, I think a little bit wider in the body. I think these vents on the side, I think are more accurate. And uh, I mean, overall, yeah, I think I do like this newer one better. It's a little bit wider though, too. This one does actually like, kind of barely fit in one lane of those road plates they make. This one, uh, I think it's gonna, gonna kind of drive down the middle of the road, but it's Batmon. Batmo? It's Batman in the Batmobile. So, I mean, I guess he can take as much space as he wants. Let's look at the Jokers. So here's our new Joker. Definitely, I feel like he's definitely more of the Jack Nicholson Joker. Although I think they have... Now, as I say, I was thinking building it that they have like the same print on the face, but no, his teeth are clenched. His eyebrows are more arched. His, a uh, little less so. They're still both yellow, though. Interesting choice, that. Also interesting that the new one doesn't come with any sort of weapon, and the older one did come with, with this gun. Or blaster, or whatever you want to call it. Stud shooter. You know what this one needs, though? What they're missing is it needs tails. He had tails on his jacket. I didn't miss any right now. He needs tails back here on his jacket because he did have a jacket with tails in the film. That's that's also my only real complaint about him. Honestly, that's I don't remember having, like, you know, particularly a weapon like that anyways. I just wonder, actually, if this is even meant, because I, I never like, looked at it at the time, if this was really meant to be the movie version because this clearly is. This is clearly more of the Tim Burton one. And it's not, I don't think it's quite the animated series. I think, I think the animated series version is almost more, a little more like this, but even more squat, more compact. I think brutalism may be the word for it. So I definitely like this newer one. Now, one thing over the older one, or one thing the older one has over it, is uh, the cockpit does open just like on a hinge. Although it has that, that very, to me, that very classic windshield. Those are the windshields all the cars had when I was a kid. The new one is much sleeker, but there is no hinge. You would have to actually take the top of the cockpit off. I mean, it, looks like they, it almost looks like they should be hinged. That's actually for the trunk, which is one thing that that doesn't have at all. But it's got, I wouldn't say it's a bigger cockpit. I'm able to get him in there without having to have his uh, cape just bunched up behind him. It actually does sort of fit there which is nice. The design to the Batman are different. Uh, this one under his hair, I think actually has, yeah, he has like white. I'm mean, interesting where they've done it. He has like a, like white goggles above a lower, like slightly lower set eyes. So you still can have his face exposed without the helmet on, but you get the white effect when you put the helmet on. As where our newer one here, the white part is actually part of the helmet. So he's got, doesn't have anything on underneath. 
I like the, the face sculpts because his eyes are, are really are kind of low set in that one and they're not in this one. They just put the white part on the helmet. So also they don't get misaligned because that one you can get misaligned and then have like only part of the white be showing. But he's got a slightly roomier cockpit. It was more so before we put the windows in, but he fits in there nicely. Uh, I'm actually got his cape in pretty good that time. There we go. And uh, there we go. And then, yeah, well, of course, something this doesn't have at all is a trunk. You can't fit everything in there. His, his weird little grapple gun won't fit in there with the other stuff, but the cuffs, the batterings, the extra crossbow bolt do all fit nicely in the trunk. And it closes. So that's pretty cool, too. I do like when they give you storage solutions right there in the kit. Because it's kind of a, I mean, little bits get lost. So overall, comparing the two, I definitely do like the newer one better. It's, uh, I feel like they're both pretty sturdy. This one has some parts in it that were kind of hard to keep together when putting it together. Once you get it all together, a lot of it locks in in multiple places. Oh, you know what I didn't do, I didn't look at here, is the guns. The Batmobile is armed. So yeah, the original one, or not original, the, the 2019 version, they just kind of flip out like that. And they do have little stud launchers, which I'm not going to bother with because we've all seen stud launchers, right? So they're always kind of exposed. Nothing covers them up. As where the new one, instead of having studs to lose by firing the weapons, you actually turn the little crank on the side here and... I turned it the wrong way. And these flaps should pop off. And then you have the big guns, which I think actually also looks a little bit more like positioned the way they are in the film. Of course, you're supposed to do it. It's only held on by one stud. So I think in moving it around, I think it's storing this between the displays. Those pieces are probably going to fall off pretty easily, but they actually mean they don't, they don't come off on their own. Let's do this a little faster and see if it, how the effect works. And yeah, that works pretty good. That's a nice little play feature, I think, for the kids, although I do feel like, I mean, this is an eight and up set. So, I mean, it is for kids to play with, but I do feel like your children are probably going to lose those two pieces in fairly short order. Also, I think the, uh, I think the wheels in this may be a little bit closer together, making the turning radius, even though the vehicle itself is longer, I think it actually have a slightly better turning radius. I mean, still, still going to turn like a bus, but, uh, yeah, I definitely do like the newer one. I like the old one too. I'm not, you know, I don't, don't regret having picked it up back in the day. It has served me well, low these, these half a decade, apparently, since I picked it up. But yeah, there is a new Batman in town. And he does bring, I think, a nicer version of the car. I was very impressed with that one, but I am more impressed with this one. And it will definitely be replacing its older brother there in the city. So I think that about wraps this up. It is yet another Batmobile. I think I think there's like four available currently because there's this one. I think the, the Batman one is still available. I think there is a larger like collector's one. And then there's like an ages four and up one that costs almost as much as this, despite having like one third the pieces. So uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of those ones. Even if they have some nice minifigures sometimes, not a fan of those ones. But the Dark Knight shall once again drive the streets of the modular city in style in a newer, honestly, I think better looking vehicle. I think they, I think they really did a good job on this one. Um, I mean, again, I still think this part's maybe a little bit more screen accurate to these fins, but overall, everything else here looks fantastic and I think more screen accurate. And again, I'm not 100% sure this was even meant to be the movie version. I don't think it says anything about it. This one specifically says it's from the film. That one I don't think it did, so uh, I could just be me putting things onto it that were never supposed to be there. But let me know, what do you think? Which do you think is the better Batmobile? Do you think our new Batmobile Batman versus the Joker Chase is better than the old Batmobile Pursuit of the Joker? Who do you think has the better Batman in it? I, I also think the Batman in this has a much more screen accurate look because it's like the black suit as opposed to the gray one in that one. I just want to stand up. I really need to replace this tablecloth. Which Joker looks better? Which Batman looks better? Which Batmobile looks better? What do you think 2019 versus 2023? 
But let me know in the comments, and I hope you found this all interesting or entertaining. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.